Hey, what's going on, BCS Army? Justin for Blue Collar Survival. Today, we'll be reviewing the Steel Wheel Tenant. Let's do this. All right, so today we will be doing the Steel Wheel Tenant. But if you're new to my channel and you're looking for an honest review to make sure you get that best bang for your buck in the knife and gear world, hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, throw me a thumbs up, because I sure do like them. All right, so today is going to be my first review where I'm trying out a new grading system. I'm calling it the BCS Recruiting System, and it's a four-star system, basically. So I have nine criterias I go through in the review. I'm going to go through, uh, I got edge retention, ease of sharpening, fit and finish, internal mechanisms, in hand, functionality, overall design, price for what you get, and in the pocket. So let's go ahead and get on with this. I will go ahead and throw the... Uh, Specs up real quick while I get a couple knives out for comparisons. Alright, so it is a larger blade, uh, I believe seven, 7 and 3 quarter inches. We got the Civivi Backlash, which is slightly bigger. The Tuya Bruiser, which is slightly bigger. I got my Benchmade Griptilian, which is right around the same size, and a Bic Lighter. Alright, so we'll go ahead and go through this thing. So first off is edge retention. And with this, this is a D2 steel, which D2 has relatively good edge retention. It's actually right there with S30 and S35V. Um, so I gave that a 3.5 on the edge retention. Go ahead and show the blade quick. Nice little drop point blade. It is a it is a beefy knife. I mean I like I like it. I do like some beefier knives. It is a beefy knife. Um, next is ease of sharpening. So it is a D2 knife, and D2 is a little harder to sharpening, especially uh, if you're not very experienced at sharpening, it can be harder to sharpen. So I gave that a 1.5 out of four for the ease of sharpening. Uh, next up is fit and finish. So we'll go over everything and the fit and finish I actually gave a four on this because they I mean it was spot on on everything. It had nice centering, all the uh, hardware looked good, nice deep well. I even uh, checked with to make sure that the pivot didn't do the free spin and it did not do the free spin. Um, the flipper tabs finish nicely. I had another steel wheel that, uh, um, the modus that the flipper was actually sharp. So that was good on that. Everything on fit and finish wise with this is really good. Nice deep pocket clip on it. Little back spacer. So fit and finish I gave a four. Internals, which I'm calling internals, going to be your pivot, um, the liners and everything like that. And that I actually gave a 3.5. Everything is really good on this knife internals wise. They even did a little milling of the, uh, as you can see, they skeletonized the liners. Um, but the reason I docked it the 3 .5, to 3.5 instead of 4, and I'll show you guys actually pretty decent lock up there. There we go. Um, is because of the liners. The uh, liners are extremely thin, I feel. Uh, Zeb from Woodland Tactical is actually talking about this in his review of this knife as well, which I bought this knife off of him, but he said the liners were extremely thin for a knife that size, and they are, so I, I got a couple examples of some other liners of some knives that are relatively the same size. Um, the Civivi, which is a lighter weight knife overall, and uh, its liners are actually let's see if i can get the dang thing in camera the liners are actually thicker on this one which is a lighter duty knife in my opinion um then we got another heavy duty on which is the tuya bruiser and i mean considerably thicker when it comes to uh the liners on that and one more example i got is a crkt m21 and once again considerably thicker liners so uh with a knife this size i would like to see heavier liners on it um, other than that that's the only really gripe i have for the eternals everything else it's got really good action 
it's uh they got this cut out right here just a little bit so you can get to the liner lock easier so yeah in hand i gave it 3.5 and the reason i gave i uh, docked it on that is because of steel wheel in their awful jimping they have i wish i would have grabbed my modus before i started but uh it has awful jimping too let me see if i can just find it quick so here's the other one here's the, the the modus i mean there's nothing to it for their uh jimping plus with this black coating on it and getting in there as well i'd rather have just left it off there than even to put it on there so especially if you guys know my channel you know that's a huge pet peeve of mine so in hand it's 3.5 because of the jimping everything else there's no hot spots feels really good in hand um, my medium hands, you see you see, there's still some left. If you have larger hands, you'll be able to still get a good hold of the knife. All right, next is function, which I gave a three. And I gave a three in the function, and that's being knocked because of the jimping and the liners. Just those, those very thin liners if you're doing anything real heavy duty. I know you're not supposed to do real heavy duty with knives, but not everybody treats them the same. Right, Zeb? Um... He'll beat on his knives a lot, and I don't beat on mine as much, but I do get rough with some of them. A knife like this size, like this one, I have just absolutely beat the mess out of uh, carpentry work, doing everything like that. So I would like to see a little thicker liner on uh, on a knife this size, and then the jimping. It's just nothing to offer when I'm working. So in hand, it got a three. Overall design, also a three, just due to those two simple facts. Well, there's another. Do the jimping, the liners, and the one pocket uh, clip position. Not a big deal for me. It's right hand tip down only, but if you're lefty, um, no options for you. You could do it yourself if you want, or you can carry it opposite or in a back pocket. Uh, I've heard some people say they're left handed. But yeah, I kind of dropped the ball with that. I don't know why they couldn't have thrown a, a, where you could put a pocket clip on the other side. So I gave it a three for that. In pocket, I gave it a four. It actually rides really well in the pocket. Get my little pocket out here. Good retention on the clip. It does not slide around. All right. And as you can see, the knife pretty much disappears. You can tell this is a knife guy's pocket right here. And, and the weight's not too bad on it either. Um, let me get the weight. I know I put it up in the specs, but I have already forgotten what it is. So yeah, the weight's not bad on it either. 122 grams or, you know, 4.3 ounces. So not a real heavy knife. Um, rides in the pocket really good. So I gave that a four and then price, uh, price for what you get. Basically, I mean, material wise and all that, the fit and finish to go along with it. I gave it a four. It runs right around that uh, price line that sh it should for a good D2 knife. Um, the G10 handles are done really well. Like I said, all the fit and finish is really good. Uh, so for the, uh, I believe, 40, I think it's $46 on, uh, on Blade HQ. I find that a really, really good price for that. So I'll give it a four on that. So overall, it was a total of 30 points. There was nine criteria. So this knife finished out at 3.3 out of four. So definitely a good knife. Um, you will probably never see a 4 out of 4 just because it'll be impossible to have edge retention and ease of sharpening both at 4. But, you know, you got to have give and take when it comes to stuff like this. So, I give it a 3.3. Definitely a great score on it. Good knife. Good price. I do enjoy it. Um, I'll have to do a little uh, uh, modding myself to actually make the jimping... Uh, have some worth if you guys are watching steel wheel man cut this stuff in some um shoot i wish i had my even this i mean that's good jimping benchmade does it right look how nice and aggressive that is it your finger actually bites down in there so if you're listening steel wheel please change your jimping it just drives me crazy all right guys that's all I got. Let me know what you think about the new uh, review uh, scoring system. I think it's pretty cool to put a number on it. Kind of give comparisons when I start doing my future videos for everything. We can go through them and I can give a score on all of them. And you guys can kind of look at that. And then I can backlog and kind of compare scores 
you know, okay, so this finished with this, but this knife, you know, is right around the same, so give cake, yada, 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 stuff like that. So, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of the new system. All right, guys, this is Justin for Blue Collar Survival. You guys stay safe.